Hi, I'm Dana, and I recently went to just the most insane house clearance. Um, basically, the house clearance was from a woman named Sheila who was being moved into her home because she was having some difficulties. And the stuff that was left in the house was all stuff that she couldn't take with her, so it was either people were going to take it like I have, or it was going to go in the bin. So I kind of took all of this in a panic because a lot of the stuff in this lady's house was from the 70s and 80s and in just flawless condition. She had maintained and looked after everything so incredibly well. And to think that these amazing vintage pieces that happen to be in my size were going to just go in the bin. I, mm, I couldn't let it happen. So now I have a ridiculous amount of clothes. So I want to take today because, because it is all vintage and it's all very cool and I cannot keep it all. I kind of want to do just like a little haul showing it all off and be like, oh my God, look at it. Just to kind of document it because I cannot keep all of this, which would, it would be the end of our relationship, I think. Like I cannot keep an entire wardrobe's worth of clothes as well as my actual wardrobe's worth. So some of it's going to have to go. And before that happens, I at least want to document it. This isn't going to be a try on haul because I'm going to do another video. And that's going to be a really interesting one where I'm going to try and style everything here to figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm not according to like my style. I'm really not looking forward to getting rid of any of it, but let's get into showing it off to you now. Now, as I say, it is majority vintage and there is a few pieces that I think are just modern because this is... Bon Marsh. I don't think I've been around for that long, but it's just a nice little jacket. It's kind of shiny, it's brown. You can't beat a good jacket, you know? Oh, this is some of the most exciting stuff. There's this gorgeous dress. It's very, it's so tailored. It's very, very, very beautiful. A whole bunch of this stuff is from Principles and it seems like a very fancy sort of middle class kind of brand. And it's just all of such incredibly high quality. I can really imagine this with like a cute little belt and some tights. I can imagine making this like kind of a lot more casual than it comes across and really cool. Now there's some night dresses, which I'm not a nighty kind of gal, but I can really imagine myself wearing some of these as little summer dresses. Cause that's just so cute. And imagine it like with a belt and a little cardigan or something. This one's kind of a more winter one. Again, I can't really, I think this will be one of the first pieces to go because I just it's it's nightwear and I can't imagine myself wearing it to bed. But I feel like I want to do some sort of like fully vintage inspired nightwear lookbook or something first, something fun. And this I was very excited about though. And it I know it doesn't seem like my style. Like my mum was surprised that I was like into this, but it's just one of those sort of um oh, what's the word house coats very very cute very very just quaint and pretty and it's MS st michael's which if you've watched any of my other videos you know is a brand that i am obsessed with and this is the other night dress that i can imagine wearing as like a little summer dress i'd have to get a slip dress to go under it otherwise you'd be seeing quite a lot but it's just so pretty i feel like it's a shame to only ever wear it to bed this turtleneck is one that i'm quite excited about i feel like i'm always definitely gonna keep this I'm not sure where it's from. This is another one from the MS St. Michael's. And I just love it. I feel like I feel like it's either gonna be that kind of fit where it shows like every lump and bump and I'm gonna hate it, or it's gonna fit perfectly and I'm gonna love it. But we're not gonna know till another video. I couldn't resist this. This is all the rage at the minute, isn't it? These little weird knitted tops that are kind of cropped but kind of not. I feel like that's a trend right now. And it's, it's clearly one that I want to participate in. I think it's really cute. It doesn't have a single label or like somewhere that there should have been a label. I feel like it's probably handmade. So it's probably one of a kind, which is special. Then there's this just from BM, but it's super cute. And again, I feel like this is kind of on trend at the minute. And it'll look, I've, I've got a lot of dresses this will look lovely with in the summer. Cause I don't often buy light cardigans. I like the big chunky, like old man cardigans. So I feel like this is a nice little change in that repertoire. This dress immediately made me think of Prue from Charmed. Like it's that sort of like late 90s, early noughties. I'm classy, but I'm still cute and fun kind of dress. Oh, the labels come off it though. I don't know where it was from, but it's lovely. And I really hope it fits because it looks kind of small. I'm not going to lie. 
And this dress is very similar and gives me very similar vibes, but I feel like this is something more that like Piper would have worn. And it's got those adorable, like, I'm, I'm admittedly not the biggest fan of short sleeves at all, but these are very, very cute little shoulder straps. <laughs> And again, it does look quite slender, so I'm really hoping it fits. And finally out of the bags is another really just quaint, cute little cardigan. I love the colour. And I love the little flower buttons. I feel like this is another like early naughty trend that's making a comeback. And again, there's, there's no label and there doesn't look like there's anywhere that there should have been a label. So I feel like it might be handmade. Now we move over to here, which is where things are kind of mad. So I'm going to start with like hats and belts just to make things a bit easier. First we have this sort of little bridal hat and I really really wish that it was like black. Like if this was black or even blue or red or something I feel like I'd wear it even though I'm not a hat person. But it's very pretty all the same and I really want to wear it for something. Oh can you have that little bit in, oh having the little bit of net in front of your face. That's the look. Okay, maybe I am. I want to be a hat person, but the fact of the matter is that I'm not. However, we also have this, he, he said, the man I got it off said it was a shower cap. And he could be right, I'm not sure. It's got a hat pin in it, so I better watch myself. It is like kind of disintegrating in places, but it's just such a 70s vibe, isn't it? It's it's gorgeous, it's just truly, truly gorgeous. And it does need a little bit of a clean up. I think some moths have gotten at it or something. Something's happened to it. This hat's been through something, but it's lovely. And finally is this little like belly style hat. Kangol design, made in England. That's all it says. Again, he said it was a beret and it does have like the folding that you would expect from a beret, but it's also very like top heavy. I don't know, I could, I could probably rock it, do you think? I don't know, I don't know, I'm not a hat person, but I want to try because they're lovely. I don't want to spend forever going through the belts, but I'm incredibly excited by owning vintage belts. I, we've been through this in all the videos of mine, I love a belt, and oh, I have my vintage white boots, and I love wearing a white belt with them, and I'm so excited that I'll be able to wear like an actual vintage belt with them. Now some of them ain't holding up so well, some of them are, but like I say, I think most of these are from the 70s and 80s. So the fact that they're even still around is fantastic. I think they're stunning. I really, really love them. Now some of them are just the sort of tie ones and I am gonna have to make a decision and cut some of them loose, I think probably. But all of the proper buckle ones, I'm almost for sure gonna keep provided they fit me because some of these look tiny. And I mean, ones like this, I don't... What, what do you wear that with? What do you do with it? That's where I struggle. So these tie ones are probably gonna just say goodbye to. Unless they're ones that wrap around multiple times, but I don't think any of them are long enough for that. Um, but look at that, like that's just such a quality belt. It's gorgeous. Again, some of these look absolutely minuscule and some of them do need a little fixing. Some of them need a little re-glue, but we'll get round to that. And obviously everyone needs a couple of just really nice black belts. Should we do handbags now too? May as well. Gonna be quick with these ones. I've never been a handbag kind of gal, ever. But vintage handbags, I couldn't resist. First up's just this little black pouch. It's a Brenton bag and it's just I feel like if it's a shoulder bag, I'll actually use it more. I can, you know, just imagine myself more with a shoulder bag. So we got that one. Got this super cute white one. It's very, very simple, I know. Um, I've, I've put a bag in there because it's a vintage shopping bag. But this one's made for the John Lewis partnership. Very fancy. And it's got a detachable strap, so I like the idea of putting maybe a fun strap on it or something at some point. And finally, my favourite one is this sort of a uh, like crocodile snakeskin one. Lovely big long gold handle. The clasp what makes it lock as well. It's just gorgeous. And this is another one from John Lewis. Just incredible quality. So first up we have this skirt. 
and I'm pretty sure this is another one that's from Principles. Yep. And I'm excited for this skirt because, just a moment. Just to kill two birds with one stone, that's gonna be the outfit, isn't it? That's gonna be a look. I can just really envision these two together. Um, I'm not sure where this top's from, originally. Wallace. Wallace? I'm never sure. But those two. Then we have this gorgeous child with these chunky shoulder pads. That one's from Berkatex and it's a lot of this is very like sort of almost like workwear. You know, it's Sheila was obviously a little more of a high class lady than I am is what I'll say. Me and Sheila don't share many similarities, I don't think. But her clothes are gorgeous. So we also have this beautiful turquoisey teal jumper. That's just from papaya, that's not vintage, but it's beautiful. I'm a huge fan of turtlenecks and this is so soft and it's a beautiful colour as well. That's from CNA. I don't know what that is. This is another one from Principles and it's just this sleeveless shirt in a sort of lilac kind of colour. But it does have this grim stain on the back that I'm going to need to try and get rid of. But that's another one that could go with that skirt that's from Principles. The colours match really nicely there. Ooh, I love it. This shirt's one of my favourites in there. It's another from the St. Michael's m and brand. And I just think it's lovely. I really like the colour. I really like the bottoms. I like the colour of it. It's sort of lined almost. Like physically, texturally lined, not with a lining. And I just think it's lovely. I think it has, I doubt it's from the 70s, but I think it has sort of 70s vibes. I think that's how I'm gonna, gonna style it. This one, I, I do wonder if it's actually from the 70s though. The brand's Casey Baker, which isn't one I've heard of before, so I could be completely wrong. But just the style of it, it's very... It feels 70s. I don't know. If, if, if the frills and the feel of the fabric. I don't know. I think it's really, really cute, but whether or not I keep this one's going to massively come down to the styling. If I can style it, I'll keep it, but I, I really don't know currently what I would put this with. I know pretty much for sure that this is one I'll keep though. Look at how shiny it is. It's originally from David Emmanuel and it's got sort of gemstone bottoms and just all these sequins. Sequins. And all these sequins. And it's just a normal cardigan on the back and a party in the front. I'm gonna rush through these next three a little because it's just nightgowns again. But that one especially is lovely. I can really imagine myself trying to wear that out as a dress, whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Lovely little pink ordeal. <laughs> and a blue one. I actually really like this one. I... Ooh, it's from Monks and Spencers. Again, it's, it's not particularly my style normally, like even for nightwear, but I really like it. I don't know. I also got this lovely cardigan. I've done well with these like little summer cardigans. And I'm really excited to style them this summer. The label's been cut out, but it's it had a label. Oh, some of these buttons need to be sewn back on. We've already lost one. But that's no big deal. We can fix that. Another on-trend piece is this little sweater vest. There's no brand on it, but it's just a really cute little baby pink, millennial pink maybe? Sweater vest. I don't want to completely pull these out because very simply, it's just a pair of pants. Just a nice, cute little elastic case of pair of pants. I'm not sure. I hate trying to judge how big clothes are without putting them on. I feel like these might be a bit big. I'm not sure. But I'm going to give them a go because I, I do like a bit of formal wear. These pants I'm excited for. They're like little three-quarter trousers. And they've just got this lovely little button detail on the front here. So I'm going to have to figure out some way to wear them. And this pair of pants is very similar. But it has just... This nice bit of embroidery at the front. They're from BM. And again, I, I feel like they might be a little big, but I might put them on and find they're too small. I'm really bad at judging sizes, but I hope, I hope everything fits. Then there's this lovely shirt, and it does at first, you're like, oh, it's a black shirt. I thought that too, but it's <laughs> St. Michael's from m &S, And it's got this lovely little velvety sort of detail around the collar on the ends of the sleeves. And also running down here because it's got the like double layer buttonholes. So once you've buttoned it up, you can't see the buttons. It's just a lovely little velvet line down it. And the collar is beautiful. And I'm just, a lot of this I didn't notice with St. Michael's because the, 
because the, the labels folded over it was only after i'd washed and dried everything that i noticed it was folded over and dug my little finger in there and pushed it up like that and realized it's from st michael because m s is everywhere st michael's is not and it's just a sign of quality basically i know that this is gonna last me for years even though it's already lasted someone else for years you know this is another one that i'm pretty sure is modern because it's just from bon Marsh. but it's cute it's it's got shoulder pads ticks all the boxes and then there's another sort of i don't know if these are jackets or shirts i won't lie to you i really don't know what i'm gonna wear the masks maybe all of the above who knows but that doesn't have any label once again but it's nice i kind of want to tie dye it I, that's the thing with not knowing if it's vintage or not because if it if it's not vintage i'd tie dye in a heartbeat but if it is vintage i don't like altering things that you can't rebuy you know like if this is modern and you got it from Massillon, there's a hundred thousand other ones out there but if it's vintage then there isn't so i'd feel bad altering it there's just this lovely black blazer from etam and i do already own a black blazer but that will have to go if this fits well because I just want a nice fit in black blaze, you know, just something smart, kind of elegant, kind of strong, a bit masculine, well fitting, most importantly, which I struggle with getting clothes that fit properly, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of interesting, because this is, this is an Alexandra Oval designed by Hardy Amy's, and I think, looking at the colour, feeling the material, the way the buttons have yellowed over time, I think this is one of those like really 70s sort of like cleaning pinnies. I'm not 100%, I'm not particularly smart, I'll be honest with you. But I think that's what it is. And I think I am gonna clean up in this. It is, it's missing most of the buttons, which isn't ideal. But I can find new buttons once again. And the collar is just iconic. And it's just like a little picnic table, but also this makes me think that it's for like cleaning. Cause I feel like you only really have that kind of thing on stuff that you clean in or like work stuff you know I don't know but it's very cool I kind of just want to wear it as a dress <laughs> another less interesting item is just this Bon Marsh little sleeveless sweater vest top thing uh, when things are thick but don't have sleeves I never entirely understand the point but I do think it's cute and I have a few other items at the minute that I've bought recently that are quite similar to this so I feel like I should give it a go. It might work for homie. Then we have this from Sensibles once again. And I'm pretty sure it's a three quarter sleeve sort of like work jacket. Again, Sheila was clearly much ahead of me, but it's cute and it's fun and I like it a lot. And I'm really hoping that it fits my body nicely. Another just like simple, I'm pretty sure modern Bon Marsh, again, just blue sort of quilted jacket. And you might think like, Dana, you have enough coats and jackets, stop getting more. But this one's got a hood. I have one coat that has a hood. This is one of the things that I'm absolutely most impressed by. It's this green wool cloak. Cloak? It's this green wool coat from Eastex, made in England. It's a size 10. I have already tried this one and it does fit perfectly. And it's just beautiful. I feel like it's very 70s, 80s. I really don't know. I'm not, I'm not great with any of this yet i'm still learning but it's beautiful and i love it and i wish it was cold again so i could wear it because i really cannot wait to wear it it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful i can't believe i got all of this for free i don't know what i'm gonna do with it all but holy shit another Eton jacket i feel like these might be more 90s because there's a little like logo and it looks very 90s but i don't know and again it's a jacket that I'm hoping fits well, because if it doesn't fit well, I need to be stern with myself and just get rid of stuff that doesn't fit, frankly. This is another item from St. Michael's, so let's face it, I'm not going to be that stern with myself, and if this doesn't fit, I'm absolutely going to keep it and just wear it anyway. But it is a bit of a sick green colour, like it's not, it's not quite green, it's not quite grey, but it's not really brown. I don't know what it is, but I'm into it. It's a brand I like. I really enjoy the way the pockets feel like sort of integrated into the design. I actually really like, it, it's very simple, but I like it a lot. And I'm really into stuff that doesn't have collars at the minute. I feel like that's very just, 
a new trend that only I'm experiencing. <laughs> But I like it, that's what's important. Then there's just another one of these sort of short blazer top shirt things. I really don't know what these are, please tell me in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. There's no brand on it, but it's cute, I like it. I hope it fits. This coat's another modern one, it's just from Bon Marche. But I can't resist them at a leopard print. I just think it's really cute. And I can imagine myself wearing this in a lot of different ways, honestly. Like, I really like this. I feel like I shouldn't, but like, the double collar even, I just think it's... I hate to say it, but I just think it's funky. The very final thing I'm showing you is the thing that I was by far most excited to delve into. Because it's a St. Michael's, Marks and Spencer's tailoring, like, full-on suit case, suit bag, suit something. And I was really hoping it'd be a suit, and it wasn't. It's just, it's just this, which is not even disappointing because it's beautiful. The quality of this is just insane. It's, oh, as you can see, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's superb. It's been beautifully, beautifully looked after. It's been gorgeously made. It's a true item of quality. Um, I just, I just can't believe I own this stuff. I really, I feel like someone's gonna like come and take it back or like I've gotta like give it away or something. Like I can't believe this stuff is mine. Like even down to the smaller buttons on the sleeve match and the big ones, it's just gorgeous. So there you have it. That is an entire wardrobe's worth of vintage clothes. Predominantly vintage clothes. Obviously there's a few other pieces in there and it's just insane. Like I say, there's gonna be more videos surrounding this. I've got, I've still got more to show you. There's still shoes, there's still bedding, there's still curtains, there's still some like bedroom accessories. I still have more to show you. It's just insane. It's an absolute dream come true. I've been so, so, so lucky. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna strike a gold mine at this again. I don't think I'm ever gonna be this lucky in my entire life. So I'm just enjoying it while I've got it. I'm enjoying it while it's here. And I hope you enjoyed it while you were here too. I really hope that you're enjoying seeing just like this insanely cool, absolutely meticulously maintained stuff that's just in perfect condition. Cause like, you just don't see, you just don't see these things that are like nearly 30, 40, 50 years old that have been maintained so beautifully. It's, it's a really rare treat, essentially. I really just hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a nice day. Please do follow and subscribe and stuff if you like this video. If you like my content, it'd be really nice. I get very excited when new people subscribe to me because obviously I enjoy doing this, otherwise I wouldn't bother. But it's still very validating to have people like joining me. You know, it's nice. So if you'd like to do that, please do. And if not, and if you do, and if not, have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching, it's very kind of you. <laughs>